Saturday was a long and dark day. Not only did the disciples hide in fear for their lives, but even worse, they were hollow with grief. They had not signed up for this. Jesus was supposed to lead them to victory over oppressors, establish a strong nation, and allow them to bask in the joy of sweet justice. Fear and grief were not part of the package. Sometimes this is where we live. Following Jesus is supposed to be easier, isn't it? Where is Jesus when our world is crushing us with personal disappointment, when our loved ones are suffering with cancer, when the nightly news spews its information all over us? On that dark, silent Saturday, the disciples had similar feelings. All hope was gone. They felt this way. We feel this way because we forget something very important. Jesus' way was the way of suffering and the way of hope. When we are suffering for ourselves or for someone else we love, it is far too easy to forget that Jesus is the way to hope. When our night is the darkest it can be, one tiny light can make all the difference. Jesus is so much better than a night light. He can turn the night into the noonday sun. On Sundays, the disciples became aware of a reality far deeper than Saturday's grief. They met hope. Jesus plowed through pain and grief and came out the other side. Saturdays will come and they will be painful. But remember, without Saturday, we don't get Sunday. Jesus' love is our hope for today and forever. We will grieve, but with hope. We are living in a season of Saturday, but Saturday is not.